Day in the life of a New Englander heading to the Cape for the 4th of July. We packed up, hit the road, got my boat and tote, Stanley, sea bag, combos, my go-to road trip snack. We got to the house, settled in, did a bit of unpacking. We got here in the afternoon, so I had a decent amount of sunlight left. So I went down to the water, posted up for a bit, working on those beach reeds, and just soaked it all in. As much as I love the ocean and the coast, I think I might be a lake girly. I don't know, maybe I'm just feeling nostalgic about summers in Maine. After a bit of reminiscing, I went back to the house. My brother already opened the puzzle, so we did that for a bit. Getting lit over here. Then we went to dinner, had seafood and went mini golfing and cracked open the rosé. Day in the life of a New Englander vacationing on the Cape like thousands of other people for the 4th. We got up and out bright and early, had breakfast in Harwich, and made our way over to Chatham. If you're in New England, you know the summer has kind of been eh pretty overcast and rainy, but there were actually blue skies this morning. Amazing. They have this neat little art display downtown. Very impressive. I beelined over to Mahi Gold because I was looking for a dress, but it was sadly out of stock in my size. And then we went over to Snowy Owl to get coffee, saw the line, and we're like, mm, pass. So we went to Cumbies, got our caffeine, and went over to P-Town. Walked around for a bit, had a late lunch, early dinner, dinner if you will. Did a bit of shopping, checked out some of the antique stores and little art galleries. And then we wandered over to some of the iconic spots in town. When I say we, I don't think I mentioned this. I'm with my brother and brother-in-law for this trip. Great adventure buddies. Also, of course, I have to take a video anytime I see a hydrangea. Also, look at this puppy doing such a good job. Got some taffy, did some home decor shopping on that painting. And then we made our way back to Chatham because I got some messages from local business owners that were like, stop by and pick out a few items. Specifically, Beach Bum Surf Company and Cape Shark kindly reached out. It was honestly just such a nice surprise. Made my day. Plus, these items are so lovely and cozy. And I'm obsessed with this crew neck that says, call me when you get to the bridge. Day in the life of a New Englander on the Cape. Started the morning with a swim. This day was very much all over the place, much like the weather. It was kind of cool and foggy to start, so I had my little Walmart flag sweater with me. Here's a little fit check. We made breakfast at the house, worked on the puzzle. We did like four puzzles on this vacation, and finally I was able to drag my brother and brother-in-law away from the puzzle, and we went to the Nosset Lighthouse, aka the lighthouse from the Cape Cod ship bag. This is my first time here, and it's a beautiful spot, and it's kind of insane to see the erosion happening. And this lighthouse had to be moved, I think, in the 90s because of it, which seems to be a common trend with lighthouses, like the Sankety Head Lighthouse on Nantes it was moved. I can't even wrap my mind around how they do that. Anyway, then we went over to Sea Dog for lunch, much needed. We went over to Hyannis to walk around. I can't really remember a time where I walked around downtown. I mean, I must have when I was younger, but I'm not sure. We saw the JFK Memorial Museum while we're there. And honestly, we weren't really sure what to do in Hyannis. So if you have any recommendations for us for the future, let me know. Gawked at some houses, drove around a bit. I love doing this to explore an area. When we got back to the house, it was pouring. So we made dinner, worked on the puzzle. And then it miraculously cleared up, so we went down to the water to enjoy the sunset, and it was absolutely beautiful, so peaceful. Rocking the Crocs, a bare face, trying to embrace my little rosacea cheeks. And yeah, the weather was all over the place today, we were all over the place today, but it was still fun, even when I was being eaten by mosquitoes. Day in the life of a New Englander on the Cape. This may have been my favorite day or on par with the day we went to P-Town. That was so fun. Somehow I ended up scoring tickets for Eden Hand Arts to get a Cape Cod bracelet. The OG screwball bracelet, if you know, you know. I ended up going with the one with the gold ball for that mixed metal look. And we went over to Brewster to walk around the flats. While we were driving around, we came across a grist mill. Though the building was closed, they have a bunch of trails around it. So we walked around for a bit and went over to Harwich Antique Center. They have a barn full of antiques. I mean, say less, my kind of place and honestly my kind of day antiquing, roaming around, and stopping by local spots. And while we were driving around aimlessly, we came across the coffee store, like the boardwalk one or whatever it's called. This place was so cool. It's massive. They have candy, games, home decor, and of course the Cape Cod merch. After poking around for a bit, we met my mom's friend for lunch. He came down from P-Town. I got a BLT. So good. And so good seeing him. I can't wait to see him again soon. Then we went over to Barnstable, stopped at Nirvana. Of course, love it there. So yummy. I got a few items at Barnstable Market. They have a lot of hydrangea pieces at the moment. On my way home, I noticed a bee on my phone while I was driving. Freaking bumblebee. What the heck? So I found a parking lot, safely pulled over, and found a new home that was not in my car next to me. Save the bees, also rip Christmas tree 